All right, well. We'll, we'll talk about it. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Have you seen Sydney White? No, not Sydney White. What is that name? Yeah, Sydney White with Amanda Bynes. No. She, uh, no, God, no, it's not Sydney White. Um, the one where she pretending to be a boy, a twin. Oh. Oh my gosh, what, I can't remember what this. Yeah, 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 yeah. With Channing Tatum. Do you like cheese? Do you remember? Uh, I've never seen the movie. Oh my I'm, god, I'm, we I'm, need to watch it. No. Yes. No. So basically, there's a part in the movie where they're like trying you're to all of theory. I think I like your new French roll. I think I like your news. I think I'm in love with you. What? 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 You love me? I can't believe I said that. Why did I say that? Who says that? You love me? Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Brett. And I'm Tam. And welcome to the Blah Blah Marry Me podcast. Episode 5. So, what are we talking about today, Tam? Well, we're talking about, um, relation. no, not relationships, really. I guess we're talking about how people uh, make connections, I guess, these days. So. Make connections? Like, what kind of connections? Yeah, like, you know, how people meet each other these days. Like, you know, there's a lot of apps now, uh, social media, that kind of stuff. So we're kind of going to be going through that a little bit. Um, okay. Talk about s- new social norms, you know, because I guess we talk about we're the tweenies, the in-betweens, you know. Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. how do we see social norms and how do the new kids, that sounds so old, but how do they see social norms for dating? So yeah, we're going to be talking about a lot of that stuff. Cool. So we're talking about what's good today, what Mm -hmm. was good in the past. Yep. And uh, all right. So how do you want to get these started? So let's talk about like your last date. When was the last time you went on a date? Hmm. Um, I want to say probably like a month ago. Did but, you really? Yeah, uh, but I don't know if I want to call it a date because... I was going to say, I don't remember you telling me about going on a date, so well, this would be it, new to me because it wasn't a date. It, <laughs> I don't know what, it, I don't know what you, you call it because this was the first time I was meeting this chick and uh, and I had my sister wanting to meet up with me at the same night and mm-hmm. I was only in town for a short amount of days and so i figured i'd kill two birds with one stone and okay. you know take this girl out meet this girl to this bar that my sister my yeah, to this bar that my sister <laughs> fuck <laughs> to this bar that my sister was at with right. her friend um so it was the four of us kind of you know so you took this girl to meet your sister on the first legend date that's what i'm saying i don't know if, yeah yes i did and then another, oh another thing like yeah i don't know if it's a, if you count that as so, a date okay, or not who, like, where because i did know this girl you know okay, that's from a long time you. ago mm-hmm. it was just the first time that me and her ever hang out hung out like by yourself yes okay so hmm. Hmm. yeah i don't know but you hmm. know either way she, you know she ended up coming back to my hotel mm, okay that night so so it wasn't <laughs> It was, y'all were not, like, your intentions with her were not, like, relationship intentions. Uh, I was going to wait and see how I, how we meshed, you know, in, but in person. But then you took her back to your hotel like, that night. Yeah. Uh, that really, like, calmed things down mm, a little bit. No. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. I mean, um, nothing happened that first night. We just, Cuddled. you know. Ted. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fameless innkeeper. Sexless innkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, sexless in- not, not, not sex- Flameless. Flame- nah, whatever. Man, um, you're drunk. Like, <laughs> you can't talk today or what? <laughs> oh, uh, so, I mean, I don't know if you call that a date or not. I mean, I don't know that I would call that a date, like at least a legit date. Like, in my opinion, a date would a be a legit, legit date, like, or like legit, like you want a relationship with her. That's what I would consider a date is like me going out with somebody with intentions of us seeing where things go to see if we want to be in a relationship or not. Uh, I don't need to go okay. on a quote unquote and... date with somebody to bang them. 
that could happen like in the course of a couple hours. <laughs> like that doesn't need to. Well, then in shit case, fuck. Uh, okay. Well, in that case, yeah, it's been it's been it's been a minute. I don't think you knew what you wanted. <laughs> No, well, like I said, like, I girl. wanted to like get to know this girl because we have been like but messaging why? back and forth for like to, months like, and sleep with her. What's with that? It was like because then I would be so mad at you if that was your intention with me, and then we go on a date and then we just go back mm-hmm. to your room and then I don't hear from you again. Like I would be upset and be like, there was definitely a lot of different ways you could have played this. Like we did not have to go this route. Well, like she came over again the next night. Mm-hmm. She did. She, yeah. You know, I, I, and then the thing is, the thing is, okay, hold on, okay. hold on. Mm-hmm. Um, Judging. Really, she worked do. both those nights. She didn't get out till like 10 o'clock, 10 30. And she still you know, came then, to see you. Huh? And she still came to see you. Yeah. And, but like, by the time she gets out of work, by the time she comes back home, by the time she, like, she, you know, gets ready and all that shit, it's all like, it's 11 o'clock, 11 15. Yeah, like, even more so, like, she, it's, wor- like, after a long day of work, is going to spend some time with you, and you yeah, didn't I, even I want but to, I'm like, saying date that, her, like, that's why, you know, I didn't really take her out to, like, a restaurant, to, like, a normal thing. But you that's one why up, just, you met her, she met your sister, like, she met your family on the first date. That's because, like... Oh, man. What I, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, like, honestly. I thought... Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know what? How about we take a Me poll, neither. folks? Shoot us an email. Wow. <laughs> Shoot us an email. Let us know what you think about this. Contact uh, at blah, blah, marry me. Or you can yep. add us at blah, blah, marry me um, on Facebook. And then Mm -hmm. uh, see us on Instagram. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, I definitely would like Mm -hmm. to know because me as a girl thinking this Mm -hmm. is like not the way he should have gone about this. He does not think so. So, yeah, let us know. I'm not saying that. I don't think so. I'm just saying that that's how like things happen. Okay. But you obviously didn't see nothing Trust me, if she wasn't working, like I would have planned things out a little bit differently. Would you have then taken her to a restaurant? Yeah, I tried to the last time. Okay, so then that's like a real day. And then you're still going to bring her back to your hotel room. Like... (laughs) Do you see what well, I'm saying? We're still that's up where in she the parked. Room. That's where she parked her car. Like I, I didn't go pick her up. Why did she I park asked her, like, her hey, car there? Do you want me to pick you up? Do you, do you? Because you knew wanna... that's where you wanted to end up. Oh my gosh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. Um, but Let's I move gave on. her that option. I, I okay, need, a, I need some more opinions on this subject. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay, but a romantic date, like a date to like yeah, yeah a real get date. to know the girl. <laughs> um, it's been a minute. Okay, it's been a long minute. Sure. What about you? Uh, is about the same <laughs> <laughs> long minute. Yeah, I think it's just because I, I don't know. I keep like saying this. I'm so busy, like with work and like trying, you know, to learn things so that I can like advance my career and stuff. I feel like I Okay. I just don't have time. Or like people's intentions are super screwy like that. Like you. Like if you like if you someone like you would have asked me on a date like that (laughs) and that would have happened, I would have been like wrecked because (laughs) I would have been like I had given you so much of my time and this is like really all you wanted for me and that's what I come across here mostly. Like so, I said, we didn't even we didn't even hook up the first night. We okay, were just we talked the whole night. but you did eventually, right? The next night. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> I'm serious. I know, but it still happened. That was the end game, I guess. So, like, anyway. We, uh, whatever, I can't win with you. No, not at all. Not with this yeah. one. It's not going to happen. God. There are many things I will agree with you on. You're a very level-headed person. Uh, <laughs> this one, I will not. I'm not going. It's not going to happen. So. You know, it's a different world nowadays. Like, I'm, I'm trying oh, to get gosh, used. you're I'm getting trying so to, you know. angry. Sorry, calm down. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. We can have uh, a disagreement. <laughs> Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> we will agree to disagree. That's, How about that? That's fair. That's fair. Okay. <sighs> but I'm right. All right. So, because you're kind of career focused right now, is that why mm-hmm. you're, is that what you would say that you're single? Because of. Yeah, that and like, I'm not, um, yeah, I'm just not, it's not my priority, I guess. Okay. 
I just mm-hmm. um I I find okay, so there's like apps, right? Obviously. Tinder mm-hmm. and Bumble and all these other kinds of things. I get mm-hmm. on them and I'll be like super active on it for like a day and then I'll forget and not go back on for like a week or two and then Really? Like, yeah, honestly, okay. like I just don't like and then so Bumble's kind of interesting because Bumble um the girl has to make the first move. Oh, well, like, that's interesting. <clears throat> it is. So the girl has to message the guy first. Like if you match, the girl has mm-hmm. to message the guy first and mm-hmm. then Okay, so backing on up, even before that, after you match, you only have 24 hours to message them. Really? Yeah, or the match expires. You can rematch, I think, but then you've got, I think, you, I feel like you have to pay for rematching. Like it's what? an upgraded, yeah, like it's an upgraded service because it's free to use, right? But wow, you okay. can upgrade your subscription, and I think you that's rematching. I don't know. I've not paid for an upgraded subscription <laughs> for it. But oh, um, uh-huh. but anyway, so it's like you only have 24 hours, and then the girl has to be the one to make the first move, basically. Gotcha. So that, for me, is super intimidating <laughs> because... Making the first move? Yes. Well, it's because, 2019. Yes, I understand that, which I don't mind talking to people like in person. In person yeah. doesn't scare me. But what actually, it's it's like, it's all on a screen, right? So, mm-hmm. y- so you don't, I don't know, you can't see people's personality on a screen. And so for that, me, that, that's, that's like, true. it's hard to gauge. But, and it's, it's you know, I've had more than one occasion where, you know, you'll match and they'll unmatch you because guys, all they do is right, 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 swipe. Yeah, right swiping yeah, yeah. is okay. means you like so them. you you're so you're saying that you'd rather approach a guy in person than through yeah a dating i'm app? much more comfortable doing that like if i okay. was to see somebody like okay and then i've like bought guys drinks before out okay. and uh, that's weird so i want to get your opinion on that too because for me like i've done that before and i don't think it's weird but then, like, I mean, that you get some that are like, oh, thanks. And then some that are, like, weirded out. Like, why why did you buy me why this? Is she... Yeah, like, um, like it's not, it's not like, the, like the guy is supposed to buy the drinks or whatever. No, yeah, you yeah, know? totally, totally. So, but I think that's intimidating for some people. You know, like, yeah. for me, that's not, I don't, like I said, I'm, like, a very upfront person. So, I don't have problem mm-hmm. doing that. But I think for some guys, uh-huh. that's an intimidating factor for them that the girl is like physically coming up to them talking and you know whatever here's a drink or hey do you want a shot like i've done that before too like if you're at the bar and you think somebody is like oh nice hey do you want to do a shot with me you know that's not like for me that's not a weird thing but i think that some for some guys that like you know the Mm -hmm. whole macho thing can like take over and they're like no 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 you don't buy me a drink i buy you a drink that's i don't know i i mean that's I can understand that. I can understand that, but I'm not one to turn down a free drink. So I'm, you know, I'm just gonna roll with it. The first time a girl brought me a drink, I mean, I wasn't really feeling her, but I didn't want to be, um, I don't know, I guess mean, a dick, you know, and turn away her drink because I wasn't feeling her. So you know, I took the drink, I drank it, um, and yeah, I mean, I don't know if that makes me a dick because <laughs> you know, I didn't. You know, I, I I didn't really go home with her or, you know, I don't know. But yeah, I mean, shit, sure. I'll take a free drink. Yeah, I don't know. I guess there's some that can be like intimidating. But anyway, like you can't do that on a screen. And that's what's intimidating for me. So um, what about an app that you can? Eh, that's off topic. Never mind. I think that's called being a webcam girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. Uh, um, I, I don't hey, think so, that's we're talking about two different things. Here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so speaking of which, so I was on Facebook the other day and I came across this um, article saying that there's an app called Hater. I don't know. Have you heard of it? Hater? No. What, what so is it? it's an app where instead of like describing your likes and like your personality, mm-hmm. it describes or uh, it's want it matches you with the person who hates the same things that you do oh my gosh yeah like so if you don't uh if you like slow walkers um if you don't if you don't like paint extra for guacamole yeah that's um it's you know stupid little Little things like that it's you can match with other people it's called hater i just saw that the other day it's an app 
Yeah. I might have to download that just out of curiosity. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> just because that sounds, you know, I think people can put up such a front. And that's the other piece of it. Like, like I said, people's personalities don't come through on a screen. And they could be lying for all you freaking know. They could be catfishing you. You don't even, like, people could be using a different picture. You know, yeah. I love long walks. And I need, you know, I'm very romantic. Everybody and says super, that you know want to travel like those are things i see on there all the time so it's yeah. really hard to differentiate what people's like actual personality is versus what is what are they making up because they think that's what you want to hear so exactly yeah the uh, whole that, online that's why thing i feel like just, that hater app idea is what yeah, attract more that's cool. long lasting relationships yeah because <laughs> i feel like people are more honest about things that they don't like than yeah. things that they do like yeah, like I hate people who don't use their blinkers. I hate it. <laughs> I hate people thing. that don't yield, you know, when you're supposed to yield, like the off ramp coming to the frontage road. Like, Oh, yeah. Oh, today somebody flicked me off because they I was trying to turn into um, a parking lot where there was mm. a, like, I was the only, like, you could only turn left in this one, uh -huh. like, a dedicated lane. The turn left like for the person coming on the other side was further down and mm -hmm. I couldn't move because he was in front of me and I just stared at him. Like I looked at him so stupid. <laughs> and then, serious? yeah, I was just sitting there like, hmm, like mm -hmm. I'm not, I can't move. Like there's nowhere for me to go. And I just yeah. stared at him and he flicked me off as he like sped what? past me in his like freaking busted ass Corolla. <laughs> so it was just really funny. It made me laugh. But yeah, That's can't stand those stupid. people either. Obviously don't know what one way means, but <clears throat> mm -hmm. Anyway, it was really funny. So, That's yeah, I might funny. I might have to to download that just out of sheer curiosity. Yeah, and I would download that faster than I would download Tinder or Bumble. Yeah. Well, see, and that's the other thing. So I've been on Tinder before, too. Tinder uh -huh. was very much like a hookup culture. At least that's been my experience Definitely, on there. Definitely, yeah. Um, and it's funny because since I moved back to Houston, have not been, like, really active on these apps. And when I lived in Austin, because you've been I was career focus. yeah yeah i've been super yeah, career yeah. focused since i got here but when i was in austin i feel mm. like i was just i was just working <laughs> like it wasn't like I, I mean i was trying to be like career focused but i felt like what i was doing at least there was not like my end game like i gotcha. always felt like i was going to move back here at some point so i was just like having fun and working like make able gotcha. to pay my bills and shit and so yeah, yeah. i was like doing whatever like i <laughs> was on those apps all the time and i met up with mm -hmm. like quite a few people when i was in austin from those hmm. two yeah oh uh, really yeah met huh. up for okay. with quite a few so like what so most of them like there's been a, there was a couple that um like one guy we went out like to a restaurant and so he was the most awkward person i think i ever Met from tinder on the first really? date yeah this guy was oh. on yeah this one I'm trying to remember yeah i think this one's on tinder and okay. he was so awkward and yeah we uh went out on a date like we went i think to baby a's or something mm -hmm. we both had like margaritas we ate and like the bill came and he just kind of like sat there what? and i was like oh okay no. <laughs> and so i like threw a 20 on there and i was just like god i'll damn see you it. later like i and he tried to give me a hug to leave and i was like bye because <laughs> i was like this is because like he there was no personality like he just could not carry on a conversation and then like he still messaged oh, that just me. makes it worse yeah like he just tried to message Shit. me on there and i'm very like i'm not mean so i just tried to like yeah, maybe he'll get better. Maybe he's just nervous. And yeah, it just, yeah, he just, yeah. he would message me on there. Better the doubt. Yeah, yeah. He just messaged me on there like a few times after that. Like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, okay. So that's all you wanted to do. But you could have just fucking said that. You didn't have to like go on a date, like do all this stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. I probably still mm -hmm. wouldn't have slept with you, but I mean, <laughs> I applaud you for trying. So, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. And one, I actually feel real like bad about because. This guy was on Bumble and we were actually like, we had moved to like text messaging and, um, mm -hmm. uh, what you call it? We had moved to text messaging and we went, um, gosh, where did we go? I feel like we went to maybe Kona grill or something and, uh, we met up, but I was hung over as fuck like from the day before it was like we went did to you go dinner. out with him the night before or was it like no no no, no. i went out with okay. reyna 
of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> so me and Raina had gone out the night before. And I think that was like a Saturday we went out. No, we didn't go out on Saturdays. Maybe a Friday. Friday sounds like uh -huh. a more a better like idea. And so I knew I had dinner with him the next day. But it was like late. Like we didn't have dinner until like seven or something and i was mm -hmm. still hung over like i what? <laughs> i could Are not rally and he was nice like he was a nice person like we had been talking like texting for maybe a couple weeks at that point and i was um you know he had a really good like we got along like we you know our text messages were really not like good and he was like i really want to take you to dinner like you know take you out on like saturday which for me saturday dates are like a big deal like, as opposed to a during the week date, Saturday dates are like a much bigger deal, at least really? for me. Yeah. I feel like Saturday is prime real estate, you know, because you have, um, you work during the week and so your weekends are free. And so if you're going to mm -hmm, go out mm -hmm. like on a Friday or Saturday, that's like, I don't know. That's just you know, me. my, you know, my first, uh, shit, my favorite date to take out a girl is on a Thursday. Why so? Um... I don't know. To me, Thursdays are like, you know, mm -hmm. they're Friday Junior and they're my favorite day of the week. Interesting. And I feel like it's not so busy, but yet mm -hmm. it's still like people are, are prepping for the weekend. So like they're a little bit looser than, you know, you sure. can always call up on Friday, you know, sure. fuck it. Yeah. Interesting. That um, is a very valid point. But um, yeah, I felt bad. Like, cause I had no, there was like no conversation. Like I had a pounding headache, like my stomach hurt. <laughs> like it really? was, it was so bad. And so... I felt bad because like he like he wanted to take me to dinner there and we ate and he paid. He was like, do you want a drink? He had ordered like a beer or something. And I was like, no, I'm fine. Uh -huh. He was like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm fine. And I couldn't tell him like I'm fucking hung over because then I feel like that's. <laughs> Like being disrespectful for his time, yeah. you know what I yeah. mean? And so, and I didn't want to cancel because we had talked about it. And it's not like I didn't know. Like I knew uh -huh. that we were going, but just I was dumb and like drank way too much the night before. And it just didn't have, like I was not, yeah, it was just not. And so, yeah. So then after, I think I actually was coming back to Houston. I think, you know, it was probably you know what it was spring break and that's why me and reyna went out because i remember oh. i uh was coming home i was coming to houston for the week like because i uh -huh. was on break because you know i worked for school at that time and um mm -hmm. yeah we were i was coming home and i remember i texted him like the next day and said hey i'm going to houston i'll talk to you soon thanks for dinner last night blah 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 and mm -hmm. uh uh i did not hear back from him <laughs> what <laughs> yeah i really? didn't no i didn't and like i like i said that one is probably the only time like i feel bad about like first date because i definitely oh, was not my best poor guy or yeah. respectful and it like he was a nice looking dude like his pictures were like they looked like him it wasn't like a you know catfish situation so yeah that's mm -hmm. the one that i feel like bad about but i feel like if that's just one date that i feel bad about then i'm still doing okay <laughs> That's you true. Know? That's true. <laughs> Not, but, okay. That's that's uh that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. But do you have you like you haven't used any of the apps, right? I have not, and I don't know if I want to, but like I said, I I am willing to try that hater the app. The hater one? <laughs> yeah. Well and it's, it just seems interesting. You don't know until you try. I mean I've only that's tried true. those two. I have a friend uh -huh. when she was dating. Well, now she's like engaged, which I'm super happy for her. But um, mm. she used an app called Coffee and Bean. I think that's what, or no, Coffee and Bagel. Okay. Some shit like that. But basically it was like you only got four matches a day. And oh. there was some, some premise with like a bagel and a coffee. Like I don't, I think they called like your matches, your beans, like coffee bean uh -huh. or something. And you only got four of them a day. But you could See. send matches to other people. So, like, let's say she and I were on the app and she comes across somebody and she was like, oh, Tam would really like this person. She could send them mm. to me. You really? know? Yeah. Like, there was some. That's kind of cool. I never got on that one because uh -huh. that was like right before I moved back to Houston that I found out she was using that. But uh, yeah, I, I don't. See, I see. Um, yeah, I knew that there was that one. I don't know if it's still around. Actually, I should probably find out just out of curiosity, like I said. But yeah, you should try it out. Let um, me know what happens. Yeah. I think you, you definitely need to jump on a legit one, not this, huh? not just the hater one. Like you need I to mean, get I on like, one. I, yeah, one one of these days I'll try out Tinder. Maybe during um, because maybe during Christmas break, 
Christmas holidays. Maybe. You know. <laughs> yeah, and that's when people get the loneliest, you know? I mean, oh, shit. God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, what are, what are you trying to do on Tinder then, jerk? <laughs> what? Like... You're talking about people being lonely and shit. <laughs> like they're going to need some cuddles. That sounds so creepy, by the way. And I just said that describing you. You didn't even say that, but I'm not with it. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> playing. No, you're not. No, I, I, I don't know. One of these, one of the, one, I, one of these days. I think I'll, you just I'll need look. to jump on just to see. I think you should try Bumble. because Bumble? Yeah, because that one, the girl has to message you. Okay okay but on the flip side if there's a girl that you really like and you're like dang i really want to talk to this girl you can't mm-hmm. until well, she you messages know what? you i'm still trying to like i'm still shopping online for my groceries and doing h-e-b curbside and i'm still trying to like uh, muster up the courage to like talk to blah blah but <laughs> i haven't had a chance to like see her again because the last time i went it was some dude that brought out the groceries and not her womp, so womp. yeah so you know maybe next week i don't know we'll see yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I am running kind of low on groceries. Like, you So, know. yeah, you'll have an excuse to, to order something. Mm-hmm. You should just order, like, one item from everything <laughs> just to see if she, like, happens to be one of the people. One bag you of know, chips. One bag of chips, like, every day. <laughs> like, every day. Yeah, yeah. We'll try that out. Because the last time I went, um, she gave me some, like, some pieces of candy, like a Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and, like, a Payday or something like that. I'm like, here, read some candy. You're like, oh, thank you. Thanks, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Next so time, then, I need to look at her name tag. Yeah. You haven't looked at her name tag this whole time? No, I think I know what her name is. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully she brings you groceries yeah. next time. Me too. I yeah. hope so too. But, so, um, like, how would you meet a girl then? If you don't, like, what would be your steps? If you are not up on downloading the apps and doing that, route of like digital dating quote unquote Mm -hmm. then what would be your steps to like actually meeting somebody meeting somebody for a relationship not a hookup (laughs) yes i get you i get you um um I don't know, like places like Barnes and Nobles, even though like, you know, I don't read that much, but I do like, <laughs> I don't know, like I, it's been, you know, I've been out of the So you're going to actively uh, scout Barnes and Noble, just walk around with like a bunch of random books you think chicks like? Okay, no, I mean, I do <laughs> buy books, right? Like, no, like. I, Barnes and Noble is uh, so expensive. Yeah, it is. Um, I do appreciate yeah, Barnes and Noble though, because they have a wide selection of things. As well as Starbucks, and you know I love my coffee, so. That is true, that is true, that is true, that is true. But, uh, no, like, I, I think the only options out there are really, like, either at the store, mm-hmm. the grocery store, or at the mall, or places like Barnes & Noble, like, um, shit, nah. Or the gym. Lot. But, like, sometimes. <laughs> at the gym. Huh? <laughs> at like, the but, gym. like. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I got a lot of chick friends that say they, they don't really like being hit on at the gym because, you know, that's when they're at, like, they're most vulnerable and they're all sweaty and dirty yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's that's good to know. I'm not going to yeah, approach I w- anybody there. Yeah, I definitely there. wouldn't approach at the gym. Mm-mm. And then, obviously, um, there's the bar scene. Um, that's not really my scene anymore. Um, but if I do happen to be out... Um, yeah, chances are I'm not looking for my girl there. Um, I'm not going to rule it out, you know, entirely, uh, cause you just never know who you might end mm-hmm. up meeting. Um, yeah, but that's true. yeah, that's not my number one option. I don't know option. how I would meet somebody if there wasn't apps. I guess just because that's been like the, the go-to, you know, mm-hmm. I, I just, mm-hmm. I wouldn't know how to go about it. I don't know. So, yeah. I, mm-hmm. I mean, unless you meet a person at work, but like, is it? So, I mean, mm. some work, some workplaces are like, nah. you can't date your co-worker or, you know. I work in like a very female driven like industry, just period. <laughs> There's not a lot of men uh, who do yeah. what I do. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like my office has all girls except for our big boss, who is a man like and that's mm-hmm. that's it, <laughs> you know. Damn. But even then, I wouldn't want to date someone at work. Like I, I th- no, that gets complicated, doesn't here. it? Like I, I feel like that would make things really comp or potentially complicated. Yeah. So I don't know. Interesting. 
Oh yeah, I don't know. Maybe just uh, you just walk out of your place, your your home one day, and you just run into somebody. I'm just gonna be know. waiting on your doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I don't know. Shit. Uh, I don't know. And you know what's funny is that I keep like telling my friends, "Hey guys, I'm waiting for you guys to find my husband." Like I keep feel like I keep dropping that, and nobody takes me seriously <laughs> at so all. So you want to be hooked up by your friends? I well because my friends That's know the me. Option. Yeah, like my friends know me super well. And so Uh I feel like they would be able to gauge like whether someone's a good would be a good match for me or not. And I I just don't think they're taking me seriously. (laughs) (laughs) I get you. You You know, like it's just it's it's funny. I guess that would be like an ideal situation for me. Like if it wasn't Mm -hmm. digital dating. Mm Is if my friend was like, Hey, um, my friend's brother, he's, you know, blah blah this age does this he's really nice Mm -hmm. um i think y'all would be cute like do you want me to give him your number and i'd be like yeah definitely because i trust my friends you know like i feel like they would have like a good like they would have my best interests i get you i get you so yeah i'm the opposite you don't want your friends involved i I don't want to be hooked up no Hmm? no 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 and then I, I told you, right? And I think I, I think I mentioned a couple episodes ago where like my mom has this massage oh, yeah, therapist that, that, yeah, like her twenty three okay, year old daughter. But that what? girl is twenty three, and your mom is trying to hook you up with someone who's ten years younger than you. Like that's she's at this point. I just think she's desperate. Yeah, she just wants you. She just wants me to get married so she can have some grandkids. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Uh. That's all it is. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, I mean, eh, I don't think I'd. I don't. I'm not comfortable with my friends. No. Hooking me up, trying to hook me what up. What if no. I told you? I'd be like, hey, one of my friends, like, she's real cute and she's got a level head about her. I. What if I? I'm what not, if I did? Uh, uh, I, I'm. I'll, I'll like. I'll be hesitant about it. Like, really, I don't. Hmm. I just, I'm not 100 percent sold on that idea. Okay. It hasn't worked out in the past, and I'm not saying that that's like that's what is deterring me, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's. I'll be quick to punt the brakes on that. Interesting. On the flip mm-hmm. side, I would not like recommend you if I didn't think you were like a decent dude. <laughs> oh, okay. I'd be like, nah, yeah. he don't have his shit together. Like, you need to keep looking. <laughs> I don't have my shit together though, but that is so true. But I, I think you're like you're a like a decent person. You know, like you are a hard worker and you love your mom. Like there. <laughs> You know, like those are are decent qualities about a guy. And I think that when it gets down to it, as long as you're not being a bum and, you know, couch surfing, Mm -hmm. that like you will figure out what you want to do eventually. I don't imagine that you're just going to be like meandering. Like, I don't think you'll probably stay at this job forever. I don't feel like because it's not your end game and you're going to find a way for that not to be your end game. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So Mm -hmm. I feel like. Like, I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I think you should not be so hard on yourself either. I mean, I try not to, but, like, I know that I'm not, if I found the girl, like, it's, I'm not ready to settle down. Well, and that's fair, too, because I didn't feel like I've been ready until, like, maybe the last year, mm-hmm. two years, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe. I haven't felt like this, like okay Mm. i'm ready now (laughs) before before it was like i don't have anything ready like i you know i don't have much to offer somebody like i don't have stability to offer somebody Mm -hmm. um Mm -hmm. i i'm not sure where i'm going career wise i need to figure that out and like really in the last year it's kind of all manifested itself yeah for me and 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 it's funny that you say that because i feel like a lot of people our age who are still single, I feel like since we're not ready career wise and it's harder to make money nowadays, especially with like coming out of college and having all that um school loans and all that shit, mm-hmm. it's 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 harder for us to like have a solid foundation. Yeah. For um, sure. It's taken it's just taken I, us longer to find that solid foundation, you know? Yeah. Um so that's why most of us still live at home, you know. Yeah. I mean I still live at home for crying out loud. <laughs> My goal is by the start, hopefully, shortly mm-hmm. after the new year. That's my goal. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm also not going to move out without like to rent. Like I've rented 
like wasted so much money on that yeah. and i'm not gonna yeah. do it again and no, i've told my parents you. like that's my that's my end goal like i don't i, I want to move out to when i buy something i don't want to move out to rent and they're mm -hmm. fine with me like you know stacking my money and kind of you know, saving for that down payment and all that stuff because yeah. Yeah, yeah. they also want me to be solid, <laughs> well, you know, good. and that's, that's, you know, I love my that's parents. That's good. Having the support of your parents yeah. is always good. They're awesome. I, I got so lucky. I don't know what I did, but I got so lucky. They've just been aces, you know, that's but, cool. um, that's awesome. so yeah, I, I mean, I get that too. So maybe you're just not ready. But maybe, you know, when you are, you let me know. And then I'm going to be like, I'm going to find you somebody. <laughs> maybe. I mean, like, yeah. I used to go through phases, you know, like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Then, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm not ready. You yeah. know? Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you know, I, I, it's been a while since I felt like those waves. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe I'm just used to being by myself now. Yeah. Mental health yeah. is so important. Like, <laughs> It is. It, um, it is. It, it, really, it really fucking is. Mm -hmm. um, and lately, for me, what's been like... Uh, killing me and my motivation is just you know sure. it's, it's i feel like work is just never it's, it's the same old bullshit every single time yeah. and uh like i just you kind of like i don't like want to move tired up the, of chain. the redundancy yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and um i don't want to be i don't want to get involved with somebody that uh that's gonna have to deal with all this shit that i go through with my you know crazy ass hours crazy sure. ass schedules like you know i don't want to put through i don't want to put someone through that mm-hmm so that's kind of like why I'm still kind of single. Yeah. There's just so many things that go into like you, not you, but just people like ready to welcome a relationship. You know, I yeah. think that like we we're talking about like mental health, like that is still such a taboo subject for people to talk about. But, mm -hmm. you know, you have to talk about it at some point because everyone goes through something at some point in their life. You can't yeah. tell me that no yeah. one has ever felt like what we just described you know and that like what kind of support system do people have do they feel like it was you know uh i don't want to say shameful but like embarrassed like for people to like seek help and like find a therapist or find a good friend to talk to like i don't mm -hmm. know whatever the mechanism is like you have to be ready in that way too um mm -hmm. you've got to be ready financially <laughs> like we said that's another yeah. you know thing um and just yeah, you just have to be solid. And I think that, you know, that's sometimes why, you know, relationships don't work out is because they're not like the person themselves is not solid before yeah. they enter into the relationship. Um, and exactly. I think I've said it before, like I, I don't ever want to be a source of chaos for somebody. Like if no, I'm not no, good, not. No. you know, then I, if I'm not mm -hmm. good, I don't need to bring somebody else down with me to, you know, exactly. Be yeah. uh, and, and so harsh about that's it. Why but I'm not ready. Like I don't want to mm -hmm. put all my burdens on someone else. That's, that's yeah. not their issue to deal with. It's my bullshit. Sure. You know? So you'll, you'll but, get there. Not that you have to yeah, have a relationship. I think that you just will get there like personally, you know, like you yeah. will find yeah, what yeah. that looks like for you. And maybe yeah. one day you'll be ready for a relationship. Who knows? Until then, yeah. you can take girls out on date Oops. <laughs> with intention of just sleeping with them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I can't uh, believe Well, you. as long as I have your permission. Yeah. I, I mean, feel better I about it now. Thank well, you. Well, oh, dang it. That's not what <laughs> I meant see, to do. You see? Can't take it back. <laughs> it can't take it back. Oh, man. All right. All right. Okay. So, like, so you do your thing with uh, with all these apps and, and shit, right? So. Yeah. What do you do when guys come at you, like, just directly through your, you know, through your DMs and be like, hey, what's up? Let's fuck. Oh, that's interesting. So, because yeah, like, let me tell you a story. So there was, <laughs> I was on Bumble. Story time. Uh-huh. Wait, oh, story time, story time, story yeah. time. Um, <laughs> I was on Bumble and uh -huh. um, I saw somebody I knew on there. Mm -hmm. and it was kind of i always like think it's funny when i see people that i know in real life like on these dating apps um, and so yeah, i yeah, always yeah. right swipe them like not for just like for hey what's like have you had any luck on this thing like just like trying to you know be silly ha ha i saw you on here um and he was like do you have any stories like we were talking back and forth it wasn't uh -huh. a i i didn't anticipate 
you know anything i thought we were just talking because like i know this person yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know so being fresh, uh, being yeah casual. just being like friendly like we are yeah. like in real life just bullshit and so then he just like all of a sudden goes to something super explicit <laughs> what and i was like uh uh, <laughs> they caught you off guard uh yeah i caught me super <laughs> off guard super off guard and i i just i didn't respond because it caught me off it, it caught me that off guard that i Damn. just did not expect it and so uh i closed the app really quick and then i was like okay what? I, yeah i closed it because i'm telling you it, like caught me off guard and so <laughs> so i i closed it uh -huh. And then I logged back, like I opened it up maybe like five minutes later because I was going to say uh -huh. something stupid like, come on, man, don't be weird. Like, <laughs> like oh, okay, that's a know, buzzkill. I was getting, well, okay, uh, you, I'm telling you, you would have never thought from the conversation that was happening that that was what going to be the next step. Like that was not uh, anywhere. Okay, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like we were just talking like normal and then all of a sudden I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. and I was like, ah. I don't know what to do. And so <laughs> that's why I closed the app. So it's, it wasn't a uh, unsolicited dick pic, right? It no, was just like a it was just message. like a direct, a super direct. Like I want to X and you to, and I was like, mm, wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm saying I was like closed, closed. How the close app. were y'all before this little interruption? Like, like <laughs> excuse me. I mean, we know each other. Um, we just like we were we're not like super duper friends. Like we honestly, I met him at League, and so it was uh, like ah, okay. oh, we're friends okay. on Facebook. Like okay. I, you know, we're friends on Instagram, yeah. Snap, like the whole thing. So like, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I know what's going on with him like on a daily so basis. Like, so so this guy wasn't like Max, right? No, no, no. This is not Max. Okay. Although, okay. So no, yeah, it's not Max. <laughs> what was that? No. What was that? No. <laughs> Okay. We'll no, come no, back no, to no. That. we'll go back to that. But no, 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 <laughs> we'll no. It, it wasn't. That was not Max. This is not a Max set, like Max story. Okay. And okay. so, so, um, so you, so you're the type of girl that like you need shit to build up first before like. Well, okay. I'm telling you this situation because I knew only this, this situation. I knew, this, knew this person. Okay. So okay. had so we, if it was a stranger, yeah, if a good-looking stranger, if it was a good-looking stranger. And just said, like... Like, you're not going to get me with just a message and I'm going to come to your apartment and we're going to go at it and then I'm going to leave. Like, okay. I think we like need to, like, at least have a drink or something. Like, it doesn't have to be dinner, but, like... Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And, like, this person, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, like, because I knew this person, it would happen mm -hmm. different if maybe we were, like, out... Mm -hmm. and like you know because i would like see this person if you know it's yeah. very like normal um yeah, yeah. the after league like we go to the bar and we drink and hang out and do all that stuff so like had yeah. it been like one of those situations and it just like progressed probably mm -hmm. wouldn't have been Different as weird story. yeah yeah but this was like it was out of left field this is i'm telling you based on these the messages <laughs> that were before this was uh, super like oh my god and that's why i closed it because it scared me i was like <laughs> i don't know what to say so i'm not gonna say anything right now i'm gonna wait and that's why i was gonna be like come I on man you. don't be weird like i know it, like you know what i mean i guess that's yeah, where i was yeah, yeah. that's why i was just gonna try and be funny and crack a joke about it and be like don't be weird and then i went back and he unmatched me <laughs> really <laughs> yeah Damn. he like I, I didn't even have it like closed i'm telling you it was probably five minutes uh -huh, and uh -huh. um yeah i went back because i was gonna you know be like make, make that little funny joke and yeah. um he had unmatched me so that's that <laughs> okay okay super funny though like i yeah it was really funny it made me laugh hmm. at least i don't know and then that's hard too because what if he assumed that i was like about it though again mm -hmm. i don't know how he would have got that from the conversation that we were having um and then i didn't respond and then he was like oh shit and then <laughs> just like gotcha, i'm gonna gotcha. unmatch you you know yeah. but yeah it was pretty funny so yeah i don't know i don't know that it's gonna be as easy as like well here's a dick pic and i'm gonna go to your apartment like i don't, mm -hmm. I don't know that it would be that easy so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right well yeah. okay so i what came across you? this article the other day what like what if a girl did that to you and she was like 
as direct as this other dude was yeah, yeah, to yeah. you? Yeah, Like, what if a girl did that to you and was like... If, there, if there's some attraction, I'd probably go for it. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm a guy and, you know... We're, That's true. You know. not, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah, it's just, you know, we don't waste an easy opportunity, which is, you know, kind of sad. Pizza's but, still know, pizza. Huh? Yeah. Pizza's still pizza, even bad pizza, pizza right? Still p- exactly. <laughs> even if it has pineapple on it. Ew, gross. God, ah, don't be like one of those people. Pineapple? Pineapple on- goes on pizza. No, it doesn't. I don't shut care up. what you say. Shut up. You shut up. Okay. So I came uh, across I mean. this article about do's and don'ts about sliding into DMs. You want me to. Oh, go an over article. It real quick? Yes. Pray tell. All right. So a couple of don'ts. Mm-hmm. Don't begin with a dick pic. Agree or disagree? I would agree. Okay. If it's Be- if the intention is getting into bed, okay. then I would be like, hmm, that might work for some people. <laughs> yeah. But if yeah, the yeah, intention definitely. is relationship, then I'm going to go hard past. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. So real quick side note, mm-hmm. I was just on Facebook like before we got started mm-hmm. and I saw that Texas is passing a law that any unsolicited nudes are going to be, uh, I guess, a law now. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see what happens I have, there. like, a dick pic collage in my phone. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of been waiting for you to bring that up, but I, I, I didn't want to... <laughs> and I don't even know, like, my my number must be on a bathroom somewhere because, like, I got <laughs> all from the same area code, and uh-huh. it's just dick pics. That's all that comes through is sometimes. Is it the same one, or is it no, just, no, like, no. different? No, no, no. It's different dicks, yes. <laughs> <laughs> different numbers <laughs> and it just like i remember yeah. the first time i got one i was like hmm, mary code hmm wonder if that's you know and i like opened it and i was like getting my old changed or something and uh-huh. i opened it <laughs> and it was just words and then i was like that doesn't make any sense and then the picture came through and i was like oh god and i like just turned it over real quick because i was literally at the counter like with my phone like flat so i'm pretty sure that the person like saw it and i just turned it over and i was like "Mm, i hope she didn't say that but she probably did yeah it was just really weird i just got like random dick pics for a long while you should (laughs) definitely print them out and make a collage and like sell it what would i do with that where sell would it. I sell that? Who would Barnes want- and Noble? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Barnes and Noble uh, mm, collage right, of dick right. pics. Anybody? <laughs> okay. Anybody? Uh, you see, you charge. Oh, I know the exact price you can charge it. Do sixty nine ninety nine. Oh my god, sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents. You're so All funny. right, so don't <laughs> begin with a dick pic. Have you ever Do- sent a dick pic? What? Have you ever sent? I'm a going dick- back to the list. Ugh. I want to know if you've sent a dick pic or not. If I since ha- yeah. I have unsolicited dick pics in my phone, and apparently guys don't care about sending those to people. I have. Okay. Yes. Unsolicited. Yes. Solicited. Uh, a little but- bit. Of <laughs> I wonder if yours is one of the dicks in my phone. <laughs> Somebody got a, a hold of a phone that has all of my numbers, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's so funny. Probably not. Uh, I hope not. That would be awkward. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Go ahead. Do's, all don'ts. Right. <laughs> Back to this list. Okay. Uh, it says, do begin with mutual interest. Solid. Solid? Okay. Solid. Yeah. Like, uh, like if I say I like coffee in my mm-hmm. profile and you ask mm-hmm. me, cold brew or drip coffee yeah solid opener they the boom right there mm-hmm. um don't don't be generic in what way hey um so <laughs> hey. so <laughs> the yeah exactly hey okay uh what up hi mm-hmm. sup great smile hello you're gorgeous you have amaz- amazing eyes mm-hmm. you're sexy how's it going hello beautiful are you a model whoa whoa <laughs> yeah like joey whoa yeah whoa yeah um, um it says here to be a little more original yeah yeah i would agree i mean would you reply to any of them that i mentioned just right now 
Um, I probably would only because I don't put a lot of thought into my openers on Bumble because mm-hmm. uh, I've been deleted more times than I care to say. And gotcha. it's like, gotcha. I'm not going to waste my time going through your yeah. profile if you're just going to yeah. like look at my pic and be like, oh, just kidding. Didn't like her. So I always just start with, hey, <laughs> how's it going today? You know, um, it's, yeah. sometimes being simple is simple enough. That's my opener. Yeah. So Keep nothing, it simple, nothing too exciting. Yep. All right. So don't another don't mm-hmm. is uh don't throw a tantrum when she doesn't reply right away mm. so did you know that there's a reddit i think there's a reddit there's a reddit for like nice guys and it has like screenshots of like nice guys just like blowing up when the girl doesn't reply what yeah and they, they have the same thing for for nice girls too How i don't childish. i don't i don't know like i don't go on reddit a lot i just seen like uh hey top 20 nice guys that just you know i have explode. to go look for that yeah it's it's, it's pretty fucking crazy yeah because that sounds like something that would be interesting to read i know like i'm the nicest guy you won't give me the fucking chance of the world and you want to get you know fucked over by these other not so nice guys wow uh-huh. who hurt them like something's wrong there <laughs> exactly Actually, i don't know all right so do mm-hmm. ask thoughtful questions solid as an yeah. opener or just in general? Um, it doesn't say. Mm-hmm. It doesn't say as an opener or not. Um, but I guess maybe once you get like, you know, your uh, your introductions out of the way. Like uh, example here was favorite com- uh, say, fa- uh, favorite contemporary vi- violinist. So it's not like, you know, generic questions either. It's like. Okay. Questions based off that person. Oh, the interest. profile. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I think that's it. Actually, hmm. I don't see any more. I mean, those are some solid do's and don'ts, though. And mm-hmm. honestly, everyone should abide by those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like that's Definitely. pretty solid. Um. Um. This other website says to go in with a gif. A gif. Yeah. I definitely haven't tried that approach. To well, start with the gif. I wonder if yeah. even Bumble accepts like gifs. I'll have to try that I one know. out. Yeah. I'll match with somebody and I'll let you know. <laughs> All right. That's cool. That's cool. TBD. Yeah. TBD. TBD. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Sliding into the DMs is a little interesting. I feel like, you know, there's songs about it. <laughs> You know, I've seen a lot of stories on people who've met that way, mm-hmm. like even on like Instagram. Well, have didn't, met. didn't you mention like you have some like friends who or aunt and uncle who? Dang it. See, I just opened Bumble and uh-huh. freaking A, I haven't opened it in a few days and I have like three fi- like matches that have expired. Nice. <sighs> I'm telling ah. you, I just don't get on this. <laughs> And your phone doesn't notify you, or you just uh, like ignore it? I no, I think I have the notifications off. Oh. Um. But also, I don't want to be at work and have my phone being blown up by Bumble notifications. Uh, that's true. That's so, true. So, dang it. See? <laughs> Terrible. Sorry, you were saying. I, I was don't trying know to see about saying. the gifts thing. You said, <laughs> does my aunt and uncle oh. have. Oh, yeah, yeah. Didn't you mention a couple episodes ago that your aunt and uncle, like, met online or through a dating app and they were kind of ashamed to say? Definitely not. Wasn't it an aunt and uncle? Or was mm. it, like, cousins or a friend? Let me think. Oh, it was a friend. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. yeah, you yeah. It was a family friend. They met on yeah. Tinder. Yeah, see? It's family friend. I was like, family. aunt and uncle, definitely not. Like, they're old and... <laughs> <laughs> abs did not like we're not around in their day <laughs> yeah yeah so. no family friend um and they met mm. on tinder and didn't say because they were ashamed they were like didn't want to uh, say that they yeah, met on tinder yeah. so they were like we met through friends which is honestly probably what i would say if i met somebody on tinder <laughs> gotcha yeah. i'd be like rap introduced me to them <laughs> you know and i'll go along with the lie don't even worry about it yes okay good to know yep i got you um what about through like a video or you don't play video games right i do not yeah neither do i I don't understand it i guess people meet on there too and actually one of my um 
uh, let's think, old coworker. Yeah. Uh-huh. Her son met his wife on World of Warcraft. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh. And it was funny because uh, my, the girl, like she used to work at the school, she was uh-huh. like, uh, I didn't even know he was a guy because what? his character was like something. It wasn't like a guy or a girl. Uh-huh. And so he was. She was like, I didn't even know he was a guy until we started like talking and going on quests together and stuff. Wow! <laughs> and I was like, Oh, interesting. She goes, Yeah, but we met, and I think she was from like, because you know we're from Texas, and mm-hmm. I think she was like from North Carolina or something. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I mean that does happen too. I guess not my cup of tea necessarily. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe you have to. You should start playing video games and let us know how that happens or how that works. Uh, video games no. not your things too. No, it's not my thing. You know, it would be great. What? Great. I could totally get on board with it. What? If like Netflix or Hulu or something had some kind of dating oh. component. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, this person over here five miles away just watched the same episode of this sitcom as you did. Is that what you're going? No? Yeah, definitely. Totally be okay, about cool. it. Yeah, no, totally be about it. Like, I would... Yeah. Yeah, I would be all about it. Like, they watched How I Met Your Mother ten times. You've watched it five <laughs> times. I think oh, y'all... Even down you're to the quantity. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that that would be like, you have the same interest on your thing. Like, you would be a match. That would be so <laughs> dope. Yeah. Because be I so watch dope. Netflix and Hulu. I use all of those. And I feel like yep. they have to have that data somewhere in there. Yeah, like, definitely. Like, you know, maybe I should you send them what? that idea. No, you know what? Maybe it doesn't have to be, like, through... Maybe we can start our own app that has... Or maybe somebody can start their own app and get that information from them. And they can be the ones to, like, you know, a third-party type of app. I feel like they would not relinquish that information. Probably not. Because then mm. they would understand, oh, that's a fantastic idea. We'll buy it from you. Then and they then should get on that shit then. They would be like, and we'll buy it from you. And I'd be like, okay, $10 million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. You know what? I don't even, I wouldn't even care if they charged me like an extra two bucks a month, like Netflix. To do that? For that app. Yeah. That would be... I'd be all about it, I'm telling you, because I spend a lot of my time doing that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. 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 Maybe we should let them know our idea. Yeah. So. I, I, I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. I think that definitely, definitely needs well, to cause happen. Well, because then that would let you, like, lend some information about somebody's interests, like their personality and stuff, like what they're exactly. watching. So. Yeah. Like, I watch a lot of documentaries, and I mm-hmm. watch a lot of, like, funny sitcoms. So, yeah. I, you know, enjoy, like, new things, like, knowledge, like, learning things. But yeah. I also like to laugh. So, you know, I don't know. I feel like that mm-hmm. would lend some good information. No, I'm totally, all about totally. it. Totally about it. I would totally do that. Mm-hmm. All right. I still think you need to get on some sort of dating app. Ah. <sighs> Just okay, for kicks by the and end giggles. by en- by the end of the year, by the end of the okay. year, I'll get on something. Bet. Cool. We'll do it. We'll report back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, eventually, we'll do like a Chris- uh, Christmas episode. Sounds good. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Guess what, guys? Some- Rap is getting married. <laughs> 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 I do kind of want to be spontaneous that way, but like spontaneous. Like, I want to go to Vegas. See, to- and it's funny you say that because I, you know, the older I've gotten, the smaller my fictitious wedding has gotten. <laughs> like, See, I, I used to think I wanted to be like big, Mac- you know, Mexican weddings can be freaking huge. Oh, you know, fuck, yeah. everybody yep. and their moms literally yep. comes to this wed, like to weddings. Mm-hmm. And so I used to think I wanted that because I was like, I want, it's taking this fucking long i want everybody to be there you want to celebrate Fuck you know yeah. but then yep. i think about it and i'm like i could probably huh. spend the same amount of money and go like on a badass like month-long yes. honeymoon yeah with my new spouse exactly instead of throwing a party for a bunch of people that i barely see exactly so i feel you know, like just, just yeah the the smaller it's gotten you know like mm-hmm. the smaller my soon to be hopefully we'll see wedding <laughs> is gotten um like i would do 10 of my closest friends probably solid 
I am number one. At the most, probably. And maybe not even. Not Vegas, gonna... like, sounds so fun. Like, I don't know. That sounds like a fun, like, spon- like you said, spontaneous thing to do. Yeah. Because um, yeah. then it would be like, I'd be like, okay, guys, I got no, your plane then, tickets. It's, Let's yeah. go. And it, <laughs> yeah. And, and, <laughs> or whoever and, and, wants to we, go. Mm-hmm. Anyway. The idea of, of uh, going to Vegas does appeal to me a little bit. <laughs> but That's the only thing I want to do. You just want to go to Vegas? See, I'm, I'd be yeah. all about going like Bachelorette to Vegas or something. That would be so fun. Like to go with like my closest friends and go like on a badass trip or something. Hmm. Yeah, um, I can see that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see Christmas time if you really do get married. <laughs> I don't know. You never know. <laughs> yep, never know. Especially so, with me. Yep. Oh, you know what? I, mean, I, I was going to ask you this earlier. Hmm. What about if some dude hits you up mm-hmm. on Tinder, Bumble, whatever you match on Bumble, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, his profile does not match what he looks in, like in person. Oh, so he, like catfishing almost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So, like, let's, he's not 6'5", and he's not, like... Like 5'4", like he's smaller than me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like... I guess that would depend on how long we've been talking. Because I feel like by the time I, like, meet somebody in person, like, we've already been texting or whatever. So mm-hmm, I would hope mm-hmm. that I'd have, like, a good gauge of, like, who they are. Well, not a good gauge, mm-hmm. but a decent gauge. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I would do. I'd like to say I'd give them the benefit of the doubt, but, you know, and continue mm-hmm. to, like, talk to them. I don't know. It's, yeah, I haven't exactly. got, haven't, haven't uh, come across that one yet so uh, okay like i said everyone that i've met in person has been like relatively the same as like their picture and everything and like yeah. either like i don't use filters on my pictures <laughs> so See, why do y'all, if, i mean i understand why y'all do it yeah but then y'all fucking with us so like yeah i i don't use like at least when i post them on there like i don't use filters on them um yeah. but like okay hard no swipe filters, left dude, at least like one picture that does not have yeah. a filter on yeah. it yeah like hard swipe left if mm-hmm. uh they use filters on their picture like if they're if using the guy, like the snapchat like bunny ears <laughs> if a guy does that shit yeah. he's not like fun. i i've seen that and i'm like definitely not <laughs> i don't understand why a guy would do that in the first place yeah that's just g- give give me your man card yeah i mean, I, I don't know i just i i try not to like i'll take like a picture outside and you know, they're not old pictures either. I get like, because when I first started using it again, they were like old pics. And I was like, yeah, I don't. You got to have them up to date, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I use like up to date pics, like probably within yeah. the last year. So recently, recent pics, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. Though, but yeah. A buddy of mine was catfished. Really? Yeah. Uh, but not me, but a buddy of mine got catfished one time. Huh. And he drove an hour out of his way to meet this girl, and she did not look like. Uh, her profile pic and especially since like her pictures were taking taken at a high angle mm-hmm. um he did not expect all the extra stuff that came along with her oh so she was but, a little heavier yeah got it and uh but he said i didn't drive an hour just to like have dinner so they still ended up smashing what mm-hmm <sighs> you're like yeah you're like dude i, I I just did it. Wow. Had to do it. Wasn't happy about it, but he wow. did it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's all <laughs> yeah. I got to say about that. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, uh, yeah. I guess that so, might like, have conclude you... our episode for today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you been catfished? What is your thoughts on girls making the first moves? Um, Want to hear from you? Shoot us an email, contact at blah blah marry me dot com, or hit us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, yeah, looking forward to interacting with you guys. So um, I guess we'll see you next time. Yeah, and remember, guys, don't be a little bitch. Get to know her profile before you try sliding into her DMs. You'll probably get a better reply that way. Just saying. All right, see y'all next week. Peace. Come on, I'll talk to you. I'm in love with you. You love me? Have fun. Maybe you'll get smashed.
Oh, you cannot say that at the end. <laughs> you cannot. No. 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 That one you have to edit out. Oh, man. <laughs>